welcome everyone to pan that slash those palette slash eyeshadows. I really always have to think and enunciate when I say that. There's Kira snoozing out as usual and I am trying to do this video really quick before I go to school. So because I'm a student. I skipped the month of January to update everyone because I only had one pan. I hit pan on Sorrel, if you can see it, and maybe you can also see my other two pans. So in January, I hit pan on Sorrel uh, on the 17th, I believe. At the beginning of January, I had been sick of my pan those eyeshadows side of the project. I have this like meteorite, which is this corally red pink and I was so tired of doing pinky red purple eye looks. I was frustrated I hadn't yet hit pan on any of the brown sugar shadows even though I had been working on them for two and a half months and I've been using this pan way like I've used this pan so much outside of the project that I was just like why have I not hit pan? I laid off the purpley pinky looks and focused on neutral looks. It was also a good time for me because I was like interviewing for jobs and meeting new people and sometimes I like to just start off really simple and neutral for people instead of just like wabamming well, them with pink eye like instead of well, bamming them with big purple like colorful looks. I hit pan on sorrel on January 17th after five uses that month. I will include all my uses for the pan. Maybe I'll do it now. If I know how to overlay numbers on this, I will do January slash February's uses. I hit pan on sorrel first, which surprised me. I thought I was going to hit pan on ginger first. And then on February 3rd, Third, I hit the teensiest pan on ginger and then I made big pan the next day. I was happy I didn't do a uh, update for January because right after that I hit pan on this. This took so many uses to get through and I'm so happy. And then I hit pan on chai on February 13th. If you can see that. So these were all kind of like back to back and I'm, I'm just so happy. Finally progress on my Pan That Palette side of the project. Um, my next hope to hitting Pan is on Auburn. I used it actually quite a bit in January. I'm going to try to focus panning next on Auburn, Chalk, and Amber. Uh, I don't know. Amber is just fitting in with like the orangey looks that I'm really enjoying now. And Auburn is just a, a good one to throw on the eye. I don't know. It's going to take forever, though, for um, Amber especially. But we'll see how it goes. But don't expect any pans in the next couple months. Maybe Auburn, but really not. But yeah. Ooh, I did it. Finally. Look at those. I'm going to start talking about the Tando's eyeshadow side of the project. And I will start with the least amount of progress, which is the early morning shade, um, the pressed glitter. I did, I only used it once and in my inner corner, so there is literally no progress. Pretty exciting. It is a fine pressed glitter, so I'm not so concerned about um, putting it near my eyes. I only used early morning once uh, in January and zero times in February because I just didn't want to deal with it. The next sh shadow that I used the least and don't have much progress on, progress on is this Tarte shade um, from the Be the Mermaid and Make Waves. This is why I'm getting more into oranges as well, it's because of this shade. It's more orangey than golden, like this. these ones next to it are kind of more goldy champagne -y, if you can see. But yeah, no progress there really. I used that Tarte shade four times in January and four times in February, so I'm making some progress. The next shadow, 
we're going to talk about one of the shadows that I hit pan on. I don't know if you can hear Kira snoring, but she is going to town. So I just recently hit pan on this. Um, I hit it, I hit pan on it February 25th and today is February 27th for me. Um, looky, it's strike a pose. So you can see right there, why am I bad at pointing? You can see right there, um, I had completely forgotten about this shadow in the month of January. Like I said, I laid off the pinks and purples in January. And then when February came around, I was trying again to hit pan on those pan those eyeshadows side of my project. And I was like, this is an easy one to hit pan on. Like, why aren't you working hard on it? And like, look how big that pan is. And I did what I did with this shadow, whereas like I hit pan on it and then I kept working on the tops um, until it stopped not smushing away. And that's why I have mostly on my eyes. Um, I was working on it to make sure like it was legitimate pan, you know, um, like going on the top to make sure like it wasn't smushing away the pan. But yeah, th these are really easy to hit pan on and you can see like I'm just using this one casually and there's already like a big dip in that one. This is like a really relatively new palette for me and I have three pans in it. The Ritzy Rose and whatever that one was called. I do like this palette. I do not like this shadow. It, it's not that great. <laughs> I don't know why it's in a big pan, to be honest. I think they could have picked something else to be in this one. But it's a lovely like shade. It's just not the shimmer I want. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I used it four times in January and five times in February. The next shadows are in my big magnetic palette here. And I will... So my second pan was on my shadow, Manifested. <laughs> I haven't hit pan on Meteorite, and I haven't yet hit pan on Thank You Next, but I think that's coming up. There's a huge dip, if you can see, in Thank You Next, and it's a big dip, because <laughs> I use my finger for that one. Whatever you're using to get the shadows on your eyes really affects um, how fast you hit paint on something. I usually use my finger for Thank You Next. With Meteorite, I'm usually using a brush like this, if, like that. For Manifest It, I started, I would use these ones, right? But I was making barely any progress. Like this, this one drills down better, obviously, because it's thinner, thinner, but um, these were taking forever. I was just like, I'm gonna just experiment with eyeshadow. I haven't really experimented lining my eyes with eyeshadow, and so I was using the pink. I did use it a lot regularly, like I promise you. Like I used Manifest It, Meteorite, and Thank You Next all together, like over and over and over again. Now the last thing to do is to roll in two new eyeshadows for my Pando's eyeshadow side of the project and I'm really excited to see what I get. I have 251 eyeshadows. I will still roll out any numbers that land on my Strawberry Dreams palette. I don't want to try to hit pan on anything in here right now. I don't want to hit pan on any of these because they are my newest palettes from Christmas and I have one palette on the way that I ordered. It was the Sailor Moon palette from Colourpop. I don't want my new shadows to be in the project when I have plenty of old shadows to try to hit pan on. Random number generator time. Two new, two new eyeshadows coming in. Do do do. So you can't even see it, can you? There you go. Um, so let me generate. Let me be weird. Boop. Sixteen. 
50s, 36, 16, 36. Let's see what those are. I think you can see where my glasses were. Um, <laughs> sorry, I wear glasses. I don't wear them when I'm recording, at least in this lighting, because it's so reflective on my glasses while I was doing stuff earlier. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. 16 and 36. Oh my gosh. This is 16. It is. Oh, I'm so excited. It's Warm Pie from the Berries and Cream palette from Dominique Cosmetics. It's like a toned down red with gold shimmer in it. With like tiny, tiny gold shimmer in it. I think that will be like really good with Thank You Next and like deepening it up and with my neutrals. So that's awesome. I'm very excited about that. I like, I like the other one too. The other eyeshadow that is being rolled in is from my Juvia's Place, The Tribe. The shadow that got rolled in is this matte dark green. I think that will take forever for me. It's San. I don't know, San, San. Um, that'll be good though because I've been meaning to use this palette a lot more. And I really just haven't gotten into it. Hopefully having Sawn in my project pan um, will make me go into these oranges more. Because I've been wanting to. I don't know why I haven't. I'm really excited. These are both like palettes that I've been hoping that would come in. But haven't been. And that's just, that's just how random generation works. And here are my swatches. I'll take a better picture of them and show them. But here are the ones from the very beginning, Meteorite and Thank You Next. And here's the Tarte Shadow and Early Morning Pressed Glitter. I'll see you in March, at the end of March, another month. There's Kira, been very sleepy. I'm so tired right now. I'm going to drink more iced coffee and go to class and pet my dog. But we'll see how this all goes. Bye, have a good one. Love you. I just found out class is canceled because of the bad weather. <gasps> Kira, come up here. Come up. Kira, hop up. Hop. Yay. And Kira's awoken. Look at her. You're going to get some Kira looking activities after all. Look at her. What's up? Are you nervous? <laughs> Cute. We're not awkward at all. We're not awkward. What do you think, Kira? This isn't comfortable for me, but I'm glad it is for you. Is it comfortable for you? What do you think? <laughs> Bye.